Does this fix a broken system? No. I mean, this does very little to uh, address the underlying problem, which is the cost of college, and that it, it pays off for most people. I should be clear. It, it is an investment that does pay off for most people, but not for everyone. There are a lot of fly-by-night fly operations that produce degrees that are worthless. A lot of students never graduate. They take on the debt, and they, they never get the benefit of the degree. This doesn't solve any of that. Um, the, some of the changes that were announced will effectively make college cheaper uh, for people in the sense that uh, the changes to the income-driven repayment programs uh, will cap the payments that people make uh, by month, essentially, and then have, that, have their, their balance forgiven much sooner than is the case under current law. Now, what does that mean in the long run? I don't know. Maybe colleges respond by raising tuition because people feel like they can borrow more because more of it will be forgiven, which, again, doesn't get at the underlying problem, which is the cost of college. Mm -hmm. Rahel, the critics point first to the cost of this program. What's the impact uh, more broadly on the economy? Well, I think there are a few ways you can think about this, right? It's the actual impact of the debt, which doesn't go away. It just sort of shifts hands from the borrower to the federal government and the impact on consumer spending and, of course, inflation, with inflation at 8.5 percent. So the argument is that in pausing the repayment, which some economists, certainly Larry Summers, but also others, have said in pausing that repayment, you have essentially uh, allowed people to uh, continue to spend as they have been, right? For example, let's say the average student loan payment is about $300 per month, and it is before the moratorium. If those repayments were to start next month, well, suddenly you have $300 less to spend in the economy, and that would be disinflationary. Others, however, say, look, these payments haven't, they haven't had to pay these payments in two years, so household budgets are what they are. And so there is a lot of fierce debate. Jason Furman uh, just tweeting out within the hour that this is reckless. There is a lot of debate about whether this adds to the inflationary fire. Uh, that said, it certainly provides relief for some who need it, right? I mean, the president said 43 million people will qualify for some relief. 20 million will have almost all of their debt forgiven. The question, and what's, I think, still debatable, is what impact that has longer term on fighting inflation, which we all are dealing with.